What's going on everybody? So today I want to go over a slightly hidden mechanic that a lot of people don't know about, especially if you're a newer player, uh, potentially not used to these types of games. This is not something that is explicitly said or that you can necessarily find around the game and how strong they truly are unless you've been exploring the map, etc. So what we're talking about today are mana stones, rune stones. These things are absolutely massive. And I actually have two today here to show you. This is going to be a relatively quick video. I just want to show you the sort of power, how much you can get from them. And of course, where uh, you could potentially find them. There's not a specific strategy, but some things to look out for. Now, you can see here, my, uh, my alliance has a couple of markers and we've got some things in the running. But one thing that they always try to do is mark down the mana stones and these are things that people find around the map right and they actually can be acquired by just picking them up and bringing them to your town you can see you can only activate one of these mana stones at a time and activating a new mana stone will replace the old mana stones you can gather by multiple legions at once and they'll fade away these mana stones can give you massive buffs for example the one i currently have is build speed plus seven this one on the ground is training speed plus 5% and it lasts for a total duration underneath that buff effect for eight hours. These things are insanely good, okay? 7% build speed, for example, just to give you an example here, if I were to upgrade my city hall, which I'm trying to upgrade from 17 um, to 18 at the current moment, I believe the total time was around three days and 20 hours. I think that's... I'm not 100% sure on that, but I believe it was three days and 20 hours. Um, that means that roughly it's about 92 hours. So 7% build speed is almost seven hours off your duration of time. That is insanely good. And obviously gets better the more building upgrades you're doing. So these mana stones should be looked for and honestly should be played around during your progression, especially during events like the Strongest Lord. For example, here, I'm gonna spend some time speeding up some buildings for the Strongest Lord. And then as soon as I'm done speeding up my buildings, I'm gonna come over here and pick up the 5% training uh, buff. And then after I pick that up, I'm obviously gonna speed up some training so that I can get the buff effects, which is very, very critical, okay? Keep in mind that these uh, mana stones here are not necessarily super common and so when you do find them it sort of pushes you towards progressing immediately and you're definitely going to want to look for these if you possibly can pretty short video for today but i wanted to make a video about it just because i think a lot of people miss this and honestly it definitely definitely screws uh some of your progression up in terms of not getting as much value as you would hope. And especially if you're going for some sort of event pushing, then this is the way to go. Thanks for watching everyone. I'll have another video out later today and I'll see you all then.